Praise God, brethren. We thank God for you. And it's our prayer that you will share this link with your neighbors and friends and family members and random people. Share. Share with them. Let them uh, listen to this and be blessed. Let's pray together. Almighty God, we worship you this morning. We call on your name because you are our Father, you are our God. Would you speak to us in a language which we will understand? In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So today we will continue from where we left and we will be looking at myth number three. And so we will read, we are in Galatians chapter three. We will read verse three through to verse 9. Galatians chapter 3, verse 6 to 9. So also Abraham believed God, and it was credited to him as righteousness. Understand then that those who have faith are children of Abraham. Scripture foresaw that God would justify the Gentiles by faith and announced the gospel in advance to Abraham, all nations will be blessed through you. So those who rely on faith are blessed along with Abraham, the man of faith, the word of the Lord. So um, one of the things that uh, the Jewish Christians, we saw that when we were walking through the book of Romans, one of the things that the the Jewish Christians would be proud of is their father, Abraham, and you know, they will speak of him. And Paul is using him as an example today. So the myth that Paul is addressing today is uh, where the Jewish Christians were, uh, were proud of their nation nationality or of who they were that and they believed that that is what will save them. That simply because they were Jewish, they then believed that by the fact that they are Jewish, they are children of Abraham, then automatically they are saved. And so that made the Gentiles to now wonder how will they then get saved because they are not children or they are not descendants of Abraham. And I like what Paul is telling them. Uh, he's, he's, uh, he, he tells them, uh, he tells them that, and he's quoting uh, Genesis 12. He's, he tells them that all nations will, let me read verse 8. Scripture foresaw that, let me begin, sorry, let me begin from verse 7. Understand then that, that, that those who have faith are children of Abraham. Scripture foresaw that God would justify the, the Gentiles by faith and announce the gospel in advance to Abraham. All nations will be blessed through you. So one of the things that the Jewish people failed to do or maybe understand was that the reason why God, God called them and he made them to be his nation, to be his precious nation, was because he wanted them, or he called them so that they can be the light to the Gentiles. So that by their examples, how they will re relate with their neighbors, the Gentiles, will make the Gentiles want to have a relationship with the God of the Hebrews. And so today I'm challenging Christians. The reason why God called you and saved you to be a Christian was so that, or he saw that, you can become the light to many who are not born again, to many who do not go to church, so that by your deeds, they will desire to follow your God or our God, and they will submit to him and love him and be drawn to him. The danger has been, the problem of we of Christians today and then was where people become so proud of who they are and then it becomes us 
versus those. We Christians or they Christians versus those who are not Christians. So um, the Jewish people were proud that they are the children of Abraham, Abraham who was called by God. And in the process that made them to be blind and forget that God had called them so that they can be so that through their way of life, because they were to make Christianity to be their way of life, so they were to make their way of life attract the Gentiles and make them desire to become, to follow the, their God. So instead of doing that, they focused on, you are not like us, the children of Israel, so you do not belong. And today we have many Christians who are like that. Many Christians who view themselves as I versus him or her, who is a worldly person, who is a, a club person, who is a street person, who is a worldly person, <coughs> who is not doing this, and that who is not a registered member, who is not a, a choir member or who uh, does not own a Bible, or who is not a member of a Bible study. So me who is uh, baptized versus that person who is not uh, baptized. So that is another danger which I, I ought to have mentioned on Tuesday. Because what that does is that it alienates, it separates, uh, it brings division rather. It makes uh, people, Christians, to be on their corner and those who are not to be on their corner. And then uh, what happens is that we make, or Christians make, uh, Christians who are in legalism, who are practicing things that, things that are, are legalistic, makes others not to be attracted to the gospel simply because of um, the do's and, and don'ts simply because of the wall which they have created around them. And today is the Lord is calling us and wanting us to know that we all, uh, be, I mean all, we were all created by God. We are all children of the Most High God. Jesus Christ died for all of us whether we belong, whether we, we, we are descendants of a Hebrew nation or not, Jesus died for all of us. And salvation is for all of us. The only thing that is expected of us is for us to give our life to Jesus and come just as we are. And I believe the hymn writer who sang and said, just as I am without one plea. He was coming from a place where he was so beaten such that he, he was like, God, just as I am, I'm here. And the Lord is calling us to accept God's, to accept them just as they are and uh, allow ourselves to be the salt and the light of the world so that they may be attracted by that light and come closer. And, and it is in the process of coming to the light where they will realize that their dressing is not godly and so they will change. They will, they will, they will because of coming to the light, they will realize that they, they need to cover their bodies, for example, that they need to stop eating or drinking what they are drinking, which is harmful to their health. They will realize that uh, their relationship with their neighbors is, um, is not right. Why? Because they're in the light, and so the light is making them see some dark areas in their lives. May the Lord help us to be that light. We are not supposed to be darkness because brethren, many times we have ended up creating a huge wall around us which has then caused the darkness instead of illuminating the light of Christ. Christ came for all of us. Let's pray together. Almighty God, we worship you this day. We honor you because you love us. We thank you because you are faithful. Thank you for your loving kindness. Thank you because your love endures forever. Would you cause us to love your people 
and to spread the gospel of love to them. How we pray, dear Father, that you will help us not to be caught up in, in, uh, by becoming legalistic. Help us instead to um, do Christianity with a lot of grace because your grace is sufficient because you favored us. It's by your grace that we are saved. And so help us to walk in you and allow you to be in control of our lives. We pray for many who do not know you as, as, your, as their Lord and Savior. Lord, cause them to accept you as their Lord and Savior. And if you are there and you would want to give your life to Jesus, I, ch I, I encourage you to call the number which is on the screen and someone will pick your call and walk with you and pray with you. And uh, the Lord is faithful. He's, a, he's our Savior. He loves you and he would want you to be one of his child. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord grant you a fruitful weekend. May the Lord attend to every issue of your life. And the blessings of God Almighty Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit be with you and remain with you always. Amen.